this video explain the uh, space gas um, example for for the truss we are solving this problem 70 kilonewtons going diagonal 3 to 4 so i calculate 5 here so along this direction 70 times 4 over 5 56 kilonewtons going along this directions and 7 um, 70 times 3 over 5 equal to 42 kilonewtons going along this direction similarly 3 4 and 5 60 kilonewtons 3 over 5 give you vertical component 36 and horizontal component 4 over 5 so putting on to the space gas we have going to start from here 8 meters 6 meters and we draw all these ones um, in the space gas so for example this is origin we're going to draw press 0 uh, we're going to make it 8 meters then we will have a 6 meters then we will have a 8 meters and we can stop this one and press a 0 here we can also draw members from here to here and we can also draw member from here to here uh, another ones we have 8 meters so we can draw members from here 8 meters and connect here so that's the that's the whole truss which I draw one two three four five six seven eight members so that's eight members I draw here if you just want to put it on the full screen here now we're going to put the put the uh, pin here and roller here so uh, we're going to double click on this ones and we're gonna make it pin and we can just show that pin and then roller here uh, that is roller here uh, we have a loadings which is I just show it to you um, we have X loading in this one is 56 kilonewtons and the Y loading is minus 42 because it's going down so minus 42 and yep if you can't see this numbering you can just show diagrams and it can show minus 42 and 56 and we have another one um, uh, which is 36 uh, on here and the vertical component the horizontal component is 48 so uh, uh, horizontal component is 48 and then vertical component is 36 both positive six so that's are here and we can put any dummy section uh, for example so we can just put any um, uh, let's say equal angle and then we can just put the material still sit your answer will not affect by these numbers and from there i think we can just do linear static analysis hit ok and this analysis finish and once we finish we can see the axial forces like this axial forces and you can see those axial forces and compare with your hand calculations thank you